Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we are gonna be talking about the call and apply methods inside of JavaScript. Very useful when it deals with the this keyword and it allows us to modify what the value of this is. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? DevMountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through DevMountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, DevMountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So as an example, we're going to create a function. We'll just call it do stuff. And if you're wondering what this function is going to do, it's going to uh, do stuff. So in here, I want to console log. And what I want to console log is I actually want to console log the argument. So whatever we pass in. So we're going to create a parameter here. We'll just call it input. And we're going to console log it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call this function. And we'll just pass in the value 5. Do a refresh and we get 5. Now the next thing I want to output is uh, the this keyword. So whatever the value of this is. And I need to put my semicolons here. There we go. Now we do a refresh, we get five and the window object. Now check out the previous video if you need to understand why it's the window object, but I'm assuming you understand that and that's really not the focus of this video. We're just going to try to change the value of this. Now to change the value of this, all we have to do is call a method on the function itself. So we say do stuff dot and then the function is called call and the arguments we pass in is the first one is the value of this so we can put whatever we want. And then the next argument is the argument we want passed in into input right here. So we'll just go with the value five. Now we do a refresh, we still get the value five here, but now we have a string that says hello. So that is how you can specify what the value of this should be. Now if there's multiple parameters, such as input and input two, all we gotta do is put a comma and we can put that here as well. So we can put a 10, and what we'll do is we'll console log both the inputs. Input two. Awesome. Save and refresh. Now we get five, 10. Everything works exactly the same. Now there's a very similar method called apply. And the way this works is you're going to use it the same way, but instead of passing in separate arguments, you're just going to put them in an array. Now we do a refresh and we get the exact same result. So both call and apply are used to change the value of this, but the difference is call will take separate arguments and it'll be passed into each argument, and apply is going to take an array of arguments. You may also see this assigned to a separate array, so for example, you could say let args and assign it 510, and then instead of passing it here, you could just say args. So that is call and apply. You'll probably run into those in your JavaScript career, and that is how they work. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to check out the next video because we're going to be talking about bind, which is another important method you should know about. That's all I got and peace out. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.